Let's talk about the bench arch. So I get asked the question all the time, why do powerlifters arch their back when they bench? So I realise there is hundreds, maybe even thousands of videos on YouTube explaining exactly why powerlifters arch their back, but I'm going to give you three reasons why I do it myself. So first of all, stability. Simply put, when you retract your shoulder blades like so, and you arch your back, you're making your back a lot tighter and you're able to grip to the bench a lot better, especially if you have chalk on your back or if you have one of these vice grip shirts or an A7 shirt where you can grip the bench better. Having your shoulder blades pinched back would definitely make you more stable and therefore the bar is not gonna be moving as much. Second of all is safety. So people always say to me, aren't you hurting your back? Isn't this gonna injure you? Uh, this is one of the biggest misconceptions in powerlifting, probably second to rounding your back or rounding your upper back when deadlifting. Um, it's completely safe to arch your back as long as you have the thoracic mobility to be able to do that, um, which, which is bringing me on to what I do when I actually set up for the bench. Um, so before I actually start training for the bench press, I will make sure that everything in my spine is loose because yes, if you just go in and you try and arch your back, obviously that's going to hurt because you're not mobile enough. It's the same as if you're squatting or you're deadlifting, you've got to mobilise. Um, so I'll do this by simply rolling out my back, making sure my spine is nice and loose. Um, I'll also stretch my hips because your hips do come into it as well. Um, and making sure my shoulders are nice and loose so I can actually get my shoulders back. And that's as simple as that. So going back to the original point, which was safety. If your thoracic spine is in slight flexion, which is basically when your spine is more like that, you are compromising your shoulders and putting them in a vulnerable position. However, if you use it, put your thoracic spine in extension, which is bringing it back like this, you're activating your lats and getting your shoulder tight, which will protect your shoulder from injury. This obviously doesn't mean that you have to have an excessive arch, but naturally, if you're in thoracic extension, your body is gonna arch. So my third point is range of motion. If you're a competitive power lifter, if you've got a bigger arch, you've got less way to go. That is a longer range of motion than that. Simply put, therefore you can put more weight on the bar. So for people that ask me why do I use or try to use an excessive arch when I bench press, the simple answer really is I've got really long arms which is why I've got a better deadlift than I have a bench and therefore I create an arch to reduce my range of motion. It's as simple as that. Right, apologies for the iPhone footage, my camera has just died. Um, I quickly want to go over range of motion again. Uh, the question may come up from anyone that's not familiar with the rules of powerlifting. Uh, why don't you just lift your bum off the bench to create even more of an arch um, and reduce the range of motion even more? Um, the reason for this is simply you're not allowed to do that in powerlifting, um, especially not in my federation. I don't know about every federation, uh, but I know definitely in the IPF, the GBPF, you're not allowed to lift your bum off the bench and you're also not allowed to lift your heels off the floor and you've got to keep your head on the bench as well. So obviously, with all of those factors um, coming into it, uh, you just have to create an arch to reduce the range of motion, but obviously you've got to keep your bum on the bench as well. So I thought I'd just quickly address that. Thank you. 
Next time you go super naughty, you go on the training program and it's like do something that's not been green lit. Then you know you're in there with green lit. Okay. Don't be worried, we're not going to wait. Oh, Thank you. 